For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that how to install and configure WordPress, the content management system in RHEL 8 or CentOS 8 operating system. So, how we are going to do that? So, basically, we are going to install a um, LAMP stack kind of stuff like uh, already we are using the Linux and we are going to install the Apache and we are going to use the MariaDB and uh, PHP to host the to install the WordPress application or the WordPress PHP based uh, content management system over here. So let's see this how we can install it basically um, which requires a root privilege to install your um, packages. So that's, that's why I mean already in root login and um, you have to use a few commands to install and you have to configure the repository so the centos is already configured with a few repositories so that's what i'm not showing any repositories over here if you want you can refer my uh, m repository configuration video so that how we can configure your m repository so here m install so basically we need to install the php and uh, related packages so i am going to install first of all php and uh, php f p m php mysql connectivity so mysql nd and php json mariadb server httpd so because which is already exists so no need to install it and curl for curling or downloading the packages so this is what we need for now so which is actually verifying all the repositories and you can see that these are the packages which is 27 packages is going to install uh, required with the dependencies now which is going to download the packages and 27 packages which are not any high so most of the are in kbs few are in mbs now let's start the installation so So now the package installation is going to be complete. Now the package has been, all the required package has been installed, completed. So now you can verify the uh, whether you have the firewall is starting, started or not, uh, whether you can see that. So in this issue, uh, the firewall has been uh, stopped and masked. So no need to write any firewall rules over here. So you have to start system CTL, enable first of all the service called MariaDB and start this service start it so now start the HTTPD enable first of all you need to enable the HTTPD the web service so and start the service okay now run the mysql secure uh, the command to generate the uh, mariadb root password and uh, privileges uh, reload so now enter because this is the first time there's no root password do you want to set the root password yes and say your root password here now uh, remove anonymous users so i don't want any users to be 
exist here disallow root login remotely so do you want if you want login from any other machine to this machine example the application you want to host in different and database in different hosts you have to say no here so disallow root login remotely if you say yes then it will not allow to log in so uh, remove the test database yes i don't want test database and reload the privileges now uh, mariadb is uh, successfully configured you can log in mysql iphone u the username is root and uh, password provide the password so you have logged in here so you have to create the database to for the wordpress so say create database uh, database name so the database name ultimately i'm going to say wordpress which is easy to identify and uh, you can create the different user to access that uh, now i'm going to create the username uh, maybe simply admin at uh, localhost so here identify identify sorry identified by the password so any password you can give i simply say wordpress here so which is a simple password i'm just using here and uh, grant the permissions grant all on wordpress dot star to the username so you have to provide the username here and flash the privileges now exit from the up exit from the database right so this is what i have created the database now with the user admin given the full privileges uh, for the database now you have you have to download the wordpress um, file so which is a uh, the package we have to download so you can simply say that uh, wget uh, https wordpress dot org slash latest dot 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 zz so you can simply say which is going to download your uh, wordpress latest package from here um, simply have to untap this one and use this as a sim simple package So now the WordPress has been uh, here. So I'm just going to extract this one uh, latest dot dot gz, which is extracted to WordPress. So now what I'm going to do here it is that I'm just going to move this uh, WordPress exactly the content from here to the default location of the HTTPD. So move wordpress star slash war ww html is the default location where my web server uh, root path html you can see that the entire content has been copied so here so now what you have to do that is that um, by default this has uh, nobody nobody some permissions here but i don't want that one so i wanted to change these permissions to uh, apache so change apache web service apache and uh, html star so that it will change the entire directories and file permissions to apache which required exactly permissions now if you have the sc linux so you have to add the context uh, by using the chcon uh, the http content for this everything uh, to run on the wordpress 
but if you do not have uh, SC Linux running, you can see that SC status, which means that my SC Linux has been disabled. So now access, this is what um, the content here. So just restart systemctl, restart httpd. So not much to do here and go to the web and say 192.168.132.48.132 slash so here i did not provided any separate directory for that so so that what uh, i just copied entire content into the html so that what it's a default uh, path so that's why it's giving so the first of all you have to configure the wordpress for the first time so click continue and now which is ask you for to configure the a database uh, stuff so let's say let's go and here it is asking for the name so the database name is wordpress the username so the username i'm going to use is admin the password and uh, the database is host is local host and uh, prefix you can give anything so wp is a uh, wordpress so you can simply say wordpress and uh, submit and error establishing the database connection either username and password is not correct okay so this is not the password the wordpress is the password name so this is what so now the configuration is successful it says the sorry you cannot write configuration file you can create the file manually and paste the following text into it so now you just copy this one entire content from here copy it and go to server and uh, here you can simply uh, create that uh, wp config.php vim wp config.php and paste the content here and save it so this is what uh, we need for the configuration run this installation so now uh, it will ask you for the site uh, title so my site title is tech ARKIT. the username i'm going to use it admin for login so strong password which uh, is already generated i'm just going to use the similar same password i'm just going to copy the some same password and what is your email address so you just have to provide the email address here search engine visibility if you want to add search engine so install the wordpress so now you can say that success the wordpress has been installed you can enjoy the admin and say login and go to the admin here and provide the password so the password is here now you can see that the wordpress login so you can able to uh, view your wordpress application successfully uh, now you can go to the database example my sql iphone u and the username is root iphone p and you can try with the show databases right we have created the wordpress database and use this database and show tables so which you can see that which is already created the wp table so which are the users user metadata terms and post post meta options all of this tables already created on this database so which is ready to rock your wordpress site create the content and uh, distribute it so that's about it guys thanks for watching stay tuned 
please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming wordpress tutorial how we can install and configure the wordpress and optimize it and seo how we can do the seo on wordpress so let's run this course uh, towards for installing and configuring the wordpress please follow us on social networking site uh, one is uh, facebook the facebook page name is uh, at linux arkit uh, you can click on this button here and click like page so that you can follow us on facebook the next one is instagram uh, instagram name page name is arkit.co.in click on follow button to follow me and uh, twitter if you have any questions on uh, subject line or if you have anything you can just tweet me at a ravikumar48 so i will reply you most on the tweet back for anything related if you want to latest articles on my website so here is my website details and email address details you can reach me over here